O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 42. You're invited to join with us on page 234 in the Lutheran Book of Worship. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, and from the peak of Mizar, and from the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another, in the noise of your cataracts, all your rapids and your floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime, in the night season his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, Why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavy while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me, and say to me, Where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson this morning comes from the book of Exodus, the 18th chapter. Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel his people, and how the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. Now Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, had taken Zipporah, Moses' wife, 
after he had sent her away, and her two sons, of whom the name of the one was Gershom. For he said, I have been a sojourner in a foreign land, and the name of the other, Eleazar. For he said, The God of my father was my help, and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, came with his sons and his wife to Moses in the wilderness, where he was encamped at the mountain of God. And when one told Moses, Lo, your father-in-law Jethro is coming to you with your wife and her two sons with her, Moses went out to meet his father-in-law, and did obsience and kissed him, and they asked each other of their welfare, and went into the tent. Then Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done to Pharaoh, and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake, all the hardship that had come upon them in the way, and how the Lord had delivered them. And Jethro rejoiced for all the good which the Lord had done to Israel, in that he had delivered them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord, who has delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods, because he has delivered the people under the hand of the Egyptians when they dealt arrogantly with them. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, offered a burnt offering and sacrifices to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. On the morrow, Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood about Moses from morning till evening. When Moses' father-in-law saw all that he was doing for the people, he said, What is this that you have done for the people? Why do you sit alone and all the people stand about you from morning until evening? And Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to inquire of God, when they have a dispute, they come to me, and I decide between a man and his neighbor, and I make them know the statutes of God and his decisions. Moses' father-in-law said to him, What you are doing is not good. You and the people with you will wear yourselves out, for the thing is too heavy for you. You are not able to perform it alone. Listen now to my voice. I will give you counsel, and God be with you. You shall represent the people before God, and bring their cases to God. And you shall teach them the statutes and the decisions, and make them know the way in which they must walk and what they must do. Moreover, Choose able men from all the people, such as fear God, men who are trustworthy and who hate a bribe, and place such men over the people as rulers of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. And let them judge the peoples at all times. Every great matter they shall bring to you, but any small matter they shall decide for themselves, so it will be easier for you and they will bear the burden with you. If you do this, and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure, and all this people also will go to their place in peace. So Moses gave heed to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. Moses chose able men out of all Israel, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. And they judged the people at all times. Hard cases they brought to Moses, but any small matter they decided for themselves. Then Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went his way to his own country. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. You are God, 
we praise you. You are the Lord. We acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. O God, for our redemption, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, so that we may rise to live with Christ forever, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity, but in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.